It's Swami time. It's Swami time. It's Swami time. Hey, Feuders, week number 10. Here we go. Uh, last week was entirely too long. Uh, we're going to get right to it, what needs to be said, and get right into it. So, good luck this week. We're in the thick of the playoff hunt. All teams are still alive technically. Um, there's some big matchup this week. So, without further ado, let's go. Okay, first game of the week is Durte at Sam Houston's Hellraisers. Two teams that are entirely on different ends of the spectrum. Uh, Durte sits at 3-6. and six. Sam Houston at six and three. Also, their involvement in the league, um, opposite ends of the spectrum. Durte uninvolved, um, uninspired, whereas Sam Houston has worked the wire, dealt with injuries to compile a six and three record. Um, and these are our past two champs, I think. I don't know. Anyway, our past champ. Um, this week, uh, as of this recording, 9-13, Prior to game time, Durte's lineup is a wreck. Uh, he has three running backs that are out. Um, haven't seen any movement, haven't heard from him. Sam Houston, on the other hand, has some plug-ins. He gets Miles Sanders back this week. Um, he's pretty locked in um, to a playoff spot, it looks like. May only need to win one more game to get in. I think seven and six gets in. Six and seven possibly does. So you got Sam Houston. If he gets everybody back for a playoff push, as far as Mixon and Galladay and Ridley, um, he, he can uh, pose a threat for the repeat. Uh, you got Durte who's circling the drain. Frankly, uh, the franchise might be circling the drain. Um, so with this one, we're going to go easy win, Sam Houston, by 19. Okay, game number two, Orange Crush at Crimson Rain. Um, Orange Crush is absolutely steaming towards the playoffs. She has all of her pieces back. Uh, also want to mention she did a the team looks like it just got stronger the addition of Curtis Samuel Hayden Hurst for some backup or even as a starter when he gets back from a bye week wonderful pickups uh, she's barreling towards the playoffs Crimson you know this has uh, been a tough year for him uh, it's been a tough year for his team and um, he's really just holding on for that last playoff spot he's gonna have to get a win here uh, I don't see it happening crush is absolutely wrecking and crushing her way to the playoffs and I think she gets a big win here too. Uh, Orange Crush by 15. Game number three, Raging Rabbis at Triple T's. Uh, this really looks like the stinker of the week. Uh, both off to awful starts on Thursday night. 2.5 from Wiley Cox, 2.5 from AJ Brown. Could have been much bigger, dropped a long touchdown pass, bobbled it, uh, would have made his day, but uh, was shut down by Xavier Rose the rest of the game. So awful start for both. Triple T's missing his Kansas City products of Clyde and Travis Kelsey. Uh, so this looks like a really down week for him. He's primed for the picking, but Rabbis doesn't have a ton of firepower. We don't know what Ronald Jones is going to get or Zach Moss, what kind of work those guys are going to get. Uh, he's got Michael Thomas, which is his ace. Justin Herbert's been playing well. Man, this game stinks. It's the lowest scoring game of the week. Um, it's going to take one big performance on either side to win this game. Uh, let's say Triple T's gets it. It's a coin toss. Triple T's by one. Game number four, Boats and Hose at Young Guns. Uh, I got to say, man, the, the kid has got the torch passed to him from, from Blake and is living charmed. Once again, he's going to dodge the best lineup that a team can feel. Young Guns gets to play Boats without Julio, without Zeke. Uh, so Boats and Hose with no transactions has got a makeshift lineup. J.K. Dobbins is in there. Henry Ruggs is in there. Trey Burton. There's just not a lot of firepower over there. And doesn't look like he has much going down the stretch. Young Guns, on the other hand, not a great performance from Henry, but he got 11 and a half on Thursday night. Still has Russell Wilson. Still has Alvin Kamara. Still has Thielen and Evans and Anderson. Uh, this looks like an easy win again for him. So we're going to go Young Guns by 14. And in our game of the week, last game uh, of this slate, got four and five dreadheads at four and five nerd puppets. Game of the week because this is a big game for both teams. Four and six, and you're struggling to get in. Five and five, you're back at the 500 mark. You're firmly in, and kind of, <coughs> kind of control your own destiny. Um, you know, dreadheads missing key component of Mahomes. He's missing Chris Carson. So this is his B lineup. He's got McKinnon, who you have no idea what's going to happen in San Francisco with the running back work. Could have a big game. Could do nothing. Just depends on what Shanahan wants to do there. Um, 
you know, Kareem Hunt, got Chubb back in the mix now. Jared Goff just hasn't been very good this year. This is definitely his B lineup uh, without Mahomes in there. Nerds, on the other hand, full compliment. Everybody in there, this is his lineup. And then he's got Chubb uh, on the bench that's just sitting there waiting. He's got Tyreek on the bench, so he's missing that big component. But he does plug in Travis Fulgham, who's been really good this year and is kind of the go-to guy in Philly. Um, it looks like too much nerds this week in the game of the week. I think he gets to 5-5. Five and five. I think he's starting to catch a little bit of steam, and when he has his full component, he's going to be uh, in the mix at the end of the year. So game of the week, we're going to go nerds by 7. And there's your five-game slate for the week. All right, so that was the Down and Dirty Swami Week 10 edition. Uh, I've got some good matchups. This is a pivotal week on who's going to be set for the playoff run down the, down the stretch. Uh, we've got some deadlines coming up with trades and uh, waiver deadlines, which I'll post more of. But hope to see everybody get involved. Hope to see those lineups looking good. And uh, hope to see everybody soon when I come out to Oklahoma as I'm officially unemployed now. So maybe we can watch some games together and uh, get ready for this playoff stretch. So love everybody, and we will talk to you later. Swami is out. <laughs>